Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Beekeeper Studio uh, on Windows. The current version of Windows that I'm using is Windows 10 but the steps um, should work with Windows 11 as well. So to begin I'm going to open up the web browser. I'm going to be using Google Chrome, so if I double click that. If I type into Google search Beekeeper Studio and it should be the first result. So if we click on that link, you're, you'll uh, arrive on the Beekeeper Studio website. So click on the uh, button on the home page to um, go to the download page. Um, on this page, you don't need to fill in your email address. You can actually skip, um, click on the link that says skip to the download, click that. and for windows select the installer option so if i click that and the um, application will download so after it's finished downloading if we go to oh, i'm still downloading after the application is finished downloading go to the downloads folder so minimize that for double click beekeeper studio should start installing and there you go that's um, that was a fairly quick um, installation so so yeah you'll um, you'll have you'll be on um, the premium edition of beekeeper studio for uh, two weeks when you first um, install this if we go back to the uh, website one thing to point out with Beekeeper Studio is it is um, a free and um, a paid um, application. So you can see all the features that you get here through paying for the application. So the current, the free version that we're using is the uh, Community Edition. So I minimize that. And also you will be provided with um, a sample database, which is um, a, a SQ SQL light database if we just open this connect after selecting the SQL light database we can see all the tables that have loaded up so if I select countries you can see all the list of the uh, sample countries so let's say if I was to change one of them just add two as an example then you'd have to click the apply at the bottom in order to apply the change right click you've got access to more options here and also if i open up a tab you've um you can actually write your queries here so if i just quickly write an option countries so if i select a name yeah run that and i can see a list of uh, all the entries with just the name field so there you go there's a beekeeper studio set up and running so i hope this video has been helpful to you please uh, leave a comment below if you have any queries or issues and thanks for watching